this ever occur to you that this might happen? No. Never occurred to me either. Not once. Well, can you tell me your reaction? How do you feel about it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I was shaken at first. I still am, I suppose. But, Matt, they're serious. They mean what they're saying, both of them. They know what they're doing. No, they may mean what they're saying. I accept that, but they don't know what they're doing. I won't accept that. If I'm not intruding. Of course not, John. Please, come in. I'd like to have a couple of minutes with the two of you, if I may. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, doctor. Come on in. There's something you both ought to know. I made a decision. Joanna doesn't know about it, and I don't see any reason why she should. What is it, doctor? Joanna thinks she's committed and that our whole future is settled, but there is no real commitment. And up to now, nothing is settled at all. I don't understand that. Joanna said you're going to be married no matter what we might think about it. Well, that's not the case. Unless you two approve, and without any reservations at all, there won't be any marriage. Well, why, uh, John? Why have you decided that? Well, Mrs. Drayton, this thing has happened so quickly, I, I, I'm just as startled as you must be. Two weeks ago, I would have said such a thing was inconceivable. But two weeks ago, I had not met Joanna. She's... She's not at all like anyone I've ever known. It's not just that our color difference doesn't matter to her. It's that she doesn't seem to think there is any difference. The trouble is, this thing has come up at a time when I already have all the problems I need. And I feel that I couldn't afford to get married if it meant that I would have to take on any special problems in addition to those we're obviously going to have.